Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build my Intruder Alarm version 2. Now I saw you guys loved the first version and I thought I would do a second version which has a ton of improvements. Now the improvements that I've made is that to turn the alarm on and off, it's much more secret now. Before there was simply just a lever which anybody could see, now it is completely hidden from everybody. I've also added in a beacon, so if you don't hear the sounds, you can actually see that a beacon is flashing and you'll know that somebody is in your house. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's take a look at it now. So the system is currently off, so we can walk inside our house here. No problems, we can walk back outside. Now, if you wanna turn on the alarm here, let's say we go back inside. Before you leave your house, you have to step on this pressure plate here, throw an item onto this block over here, the system is now on. We'll walk outside. Now let's pretend I'm an intruder. If I go ahead and I walk into this person's house here, the system is going to be turned on and as you can see, the beacon here is now flashing red. We've also got some alarm bells going off as well. Now I'm thinking, where, how do I turn this off? Where, how do I turn this off? Well, I don't know because there's no, there's no kind of obvious thing in plain sight to turn this off. Only the owner will know that you actually have to throw a, an item onto this block here. Now let's say I'm the owner. I'm going to turn on the alarm here real quickly. I'm going to walk outside. Now I know the alarm is on, but I don't want to trigger it when I walk inside. So all you simply have to do is before you continue walking, step on this pressure plate here, throw a item onto that block again, and now I can safely walk inside without the system going off. So how cool is that? And I'm going to show you guys how you can build this now. So the materials that you are going to need is five redstone dust, two redstone torches, three redstone repeaters, four redstone comparators, five hoppers, four droppers, one sticky piston, two note blocks, one pressure plate of your choice, I've just gotten a stone one, one button of your choice, again I've gotten a stone button, one iron door, one chest, one minecart with hopper, one normal rail, nine iron blocks, one beacon, a block of red stained glass, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we are going to do is build our door. So let's go ahead, get our iron door out. We're gonna pop that down. And then to the left and the right, we're going to place two high pillars. On the top right block here, we're going to place our button. And we can now go through the door. At the back here, what we need to do is dig a hole out now. So get a spade or something. So the hole we need to dig is a five wide by eight long by three deep hole. And what we're going to do is start here, just diagonally right to this block or to this pillar here. So we want to dig here and then go four to the left. So one, two, three, four. Now come back to the start here and we want to dig seven blocks this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dig four to the left. One, two, three, four. And then dig back to the to that uh, hole over there. Now dig out these center blocks. And then simply dig this down two more layers. Now in line with this door at the front here in the middle, we're going to get our block of choice out. We're going to place one down right in the center here. Redstone dust on top. To the left of it, we're going to place a dropper facing away from the block, so the face should be pointing away from it. Then we're gonna place a hopper going into the face of the dropper here. So shift, then right click. To the right of the redstone, we're gonna place a block and then go back one and place one there. We're gonna have a redstone repeater coming out of this block here. Then just after the redstone repeater here, we're gonna place another block with a hopper going into the right side of it. Destroy this block we just placed and then make the other hopper, make another hopper go into this one so the funnels should be pointing into each other. 
We're going to place two redstone on top of the hoppers here, so one, two. Coming out of this dropper over here, we're going to place a redstone comparator, then lead that into a block. Now come over to this corner over here, and what we're going to do is dig out this block in the ground, get your chest out, place that down there. We're going to place a hopper on top of the chest, so crouch, then right click. We're going to get a rail, place that on top of the hopper, and then place our minecart with hopper on top of that rail. Coming out of this hopper here, we're going to place a redstone comparator. We're then going to get our droppers here. We're going to skip one block, place a hopper, place a dropper here facing towards us. We're then going to place one going upwards and then one going towards the back. Get your last hopper and place it on top of this dropper here with the funnel going downwards. Coming out of this bottom dropper here, we're going to place a redstone comparator facing towards the right. Lead that into a block. Redstone torch on the end of this block here. Then redstone dust and then a redstone repeater facing towards the front and it should be powered and then a block after this redstone repeater here. Coming out of this block over here, we're gonna place a redstone comparator facing towards the back. That's going to lead into a note block, but before we do that, we need to destroy the block underneath so it doesn't have a horrible sound. Now you're temporarily going to need to place a block here, then place a note block there so we can actually place it above the hole. And then coming out of this redstone, or out of this note block I mean, to the left we're going to place a redstone repeater and then lead that into another note block. So again, destroy the block underneath then place the note block above the hole. To the right of this note block here, place redstone, a block, and then a redstone torch at the back of it. Now we need to dig a hole for the iron block, so where our 3x3 three three iron is going to go is it's going to start here, it's going to go 3 this way, 3 that way, so we need to dig out some blocks underneath these blocks here, but we'll start from this block just after the redstone repeater, so dig that out, 2 to the right there, 2 forward, and then dig out this block here and those ones there. Fill that hole in with your iron blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Beacon is going to go on this center block here and it should be powered on now so the beacon light should go up. Above this redstone torch here we're going to place our sticky piston facing towards the beacon. Then place a block of your choice at the front of the piston here and then on top of the piston head here get your redstone glass and place that above there and it should beam that up as red. Now we're almost done, we've got to place some blocks in some certain droppers, so what you need to do is place a block in this dropper down here. So place one of your blocks of choice in there. And then we also need to place a block into this dropper here and then an item into one of these hoppers. Now currently the system is deemed as on because this redstone torch here is on so what we're going to do is actually turn it off quickly just by throwing a block of our choice into this minecart hopper here and now it is turned off. Now we're going to come back up to the top here, actually what we're going to do is place a block above this redstone dust here and then finally get your redstone pressure plate and place it on top of that block there. And there we go! Now obviously what you might want to do quickly is adjust the notes for these blocks here. So I might do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this might be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I also like to flick this repeater here um, to a 2 tick delay. It sounds a bit better but you can do whatever you want with that. You guys know what time it is. It's where I explain how this contraption actually works and hopefully I can do it in an easy manner. So let's go ahead and let's take a look how this works. So first of all, uh, when we actually step on this pressure plate here, what's happening is we're powering this redstone underneath. Now, currently the system is off. Uh, so I'm gonna explain what it does when it's off and when it, what it does when it's on. But uh, back to this redstone here, we're actually powering this redstone, which powers this dropper here. Now, when we actually step on this pressure plate, this item here is gonna get shot out into this hopper here and then go back. 
Now why I'm telling you this is when the system is actually on, so what happens, well when, how we turn it on first of all, is we throw an item into this, onto this block here which this minecart hopper will pick it up, it will get picked up by this item hopper down below and then it will go into the chest. This comparator will test if there's an item inside the comparator, if there is, it will send out a signal and what we have here is a T flip flop, so basically a T flip flop will send out a signal, um, like you, you power it once it will send out a signal, if you power it again it won't. Now to get that signal we simply just get a comparator coming out of this dropper over here. We're sending that signal into this block which unpowers this redstone torch, unpowering this redstone and unpowering that repeater. So that allows the item to go back and forth uh, between well, between this dropper and this hopper here. We're also when we step on this redstone here, it powers this block, which sends out a signal through this redstone repeater, making sure that this item in here does not move. Now, when the system is on, so let's throw a block onto here. So the system is on now. What's changed is now. This, this comparator here is no longer sending out a signal which allows this torch to come on. So we're powering this block over here, which when we actually step on this pressure plate again, it's going to keep the item that's dispensed out of this dropper here in this hopper here. So that means this comparator here is actually going to turn off because there's no item in this dropper. So you can imagine when an intruder comes into here, they're stepping on this pressure plate. These hoppers here are being powered by this redstone but this comparator here is now turned off because the item is stuck in there. Then once the intruder walks off the pressure plate here, this will unpower this redstone here and this comparator is off as well. So that allows the item inside these hoppers here to go back and forth. Now we're detecting if an item is in this hopper here by this comparator over there. So you can imagine if it's going back and forth, it's going to send out a pulse of signal. And we're powering this note block here, which then we're powering the second one here, and this gives a tune of like the uh, alarm going off. We're also then uh, powering this redstone over here, unpowering this redstone torch, which then makes this piston here extend and retract constantly. And that sends out that red beam of that beacon. So hopefully that explains how it works. Now you can go ahead and cover this all up now, so we're just going to feel in this top layer of blocks, you don't have to worry about cutting off any redstone, you, just, you can just go ahead and cover this all up. And probably best to also hide your um, beacon here, so maybe you would have a wall there, just so you can hide the beacon. But make sure that the beacon can see uh, the sky, or you won't be able to see the beacon actually going off. So that's going to end off this redstone tutorial today. Make sure you guys hit that like button. I really enjoyed making the second version of the intruder alarm. It definitely improved from the first one. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know down in the comments below. And also subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my latest tutorials. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!